Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. I know, I know, another talking head video, but don't worry, this is not going to become the norm for this channel, I do promise. Uh, it's actually just some really exciting news that I had to bring you. This video wasn't planned at all. I was actually in the midst of working on quite a bit of videos that I'm going to be releasing in a couple days when AMD actually contacted me and gave me some sweet news. Basically, AMD has lowered pricing for some upcoming products and we have a leaked Navi review. But first, Consider donating to the GamerMeld Patreon, where every three months, $5 GamerMeld patrons will get a sweet gift like this CPU that I'm going to be sending out really soon. Make sure to check that out in the description below. But anyway, let's get to it. This is some really great stuff. AMD tweeted this out, and like I said, my contact within AMD actually uh, sent this to me as well. But... As you can see, AMD's upcoming Navi products got a price drop before they were even launched, and we know for a fact that this is from NVIDIA's Super GPUs. First up, we have the 5700 XT 50th Anniversary Edition for $449, the 5700 XT, and then the 5700. Now, it's the 5700 XT and 5700 that I'm going to focus on, and the 5700 XT comes in at $399, which it was originally $449, so that's a $50 price drop, and the 5700 comes in at $349, which is a $30 price drop from the original $379. So yeah, this is some huge news. AMD clearly sees that uh, their upcoming Radeon cards won't really be worth it at all in the eyes of consumers, so they went ahead and lowered the pricing. Now, moving on along to, oh, actually, first, uh, let me really quickly go over uh, NVIDIA's super pricing if you don't already know it. The 2060 Super is $399, which is currently what the 5700 XT is going to be priced at, which remember that the 5700 XT is meant to beat the 2070. And we know the 2060 Super does pretty well against the 2070, but it doesn't beat it, especially not in a ton of different benchmarks or anything like that, yet the 5700 XT was supposed to. So AMD could really be in the competition again. Let's see. And let's discuss. As you can see, this review was published by accident by the Polish site Benchmark.pl. Either way, we were able to get some of these screenshots off. I believe they have taken it down. Uh, and it is good to note that they were done on some early drivers. That's what they're uh, discussing right here. But regardless, let's go over it. We have Shadow of the Tomb Raider right here, um, 1440p. And as you can see, the 5700 XT beats out the 2070, and the 2070 is beating out the 2060 Super. And the 2060 Super is the one that's price matched with the 5700 XT with these price cuts. Uh, you can see the 5700 is actually tied with the 2060 Super and therefore obviously decimating the 2060 FE. I believe this is by about uh, the mm, by about 15% or so. Um, a good bit of a difference. And let's see. Then we have it at 1080. Not that big of a deal. It's, it's going to likely become more of a CPU bottleneck than anything, but you can see that there is still a difference. It still does beat out the 2070 Founders Edition. Then we have the 5700 XT, and you can see that it actually gets really, really close to the 27 Super, beats out the 2070, and absolutely, completely beats out the 2060 Super. And actually, the 5700 right here also beats out the 2060 Super, yet remember that the 5700 is priced at the 2060's price level not 2060 Super. That's actually where the 5700 XT is priced. And then we go down once again, 1080p settings, and we go down to 1440p with Wolfenstein 2. And, okay, this one was really odd. This is actually a Vulcan title, and yet the 2060 Founders Edition even beats out the 5700 XT. So I'm really not sure if this is a driver issue or what in the world is going on. Uh, but then we can go down to Time Spy, and I will say that the 2060 Super actually beats out both the 5700 and 5700 XT, but the 5700 beats out the 2060 Founders Edition, which is where it's priced at. And then we have Ch -ch 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 Firestrike DX11. Okay, see, whoa, the 5700 and Firestrike DX11, the 5700 XT actually beats out the 2070 Super here. And then obviously completely decimates the 2060 Super. The 5700 also beats out the 2060 Super. Don't forget that its competitor is the 2060 Founders Edition. So it is really great there. Then we have just some more Fire Strike. I'm trying to 
the, okay so this is the gbu score and then overall um anyway this is really impressive this price drop completely changes it it completely changes it amd did a fantastic job with this and we're talking about 50 dollars and 30 dollars here i mean these aren't tiny little things and don't forget that they were already cheaper than their competitor before the super cards came out uh the competitor that they're meant to beat and once again these are um early drivers so we could be seeing another difference now obviously amd doesn't have anything to compete with say the 2080 super or really the 2070 super you could say radeon 7 but i don't think so now at the same time we may want to see some more results from the 50th anniversary edition that could end up being something that's worth it uh, if we look right here i mean it, it's still quite a bit cheaper than the 2070 super and we saw the 5700 XT getting close to the 2070 Super at times. So this 50th anniversary edition could be the ultimate competitor uh, to the, once again, 2070 Super. So anyway, this is just some really awesome news. I do apologize for it being so, so many ums and all of that, but I really wanted to get this out. Do not have enough time to do my traditional normal video, mostly because I'm doing that type of video on a bunch of videos that are gonna be coming out. So anyway, Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.